This is a historical day for not only San Bernardino County, but the city of Colt. We started uh, this process months and months ago because it takes a long time to get the, the actual facts before we can put into place a gang injunction. Today, we are filing legal paperwork with the courts uh, regarding the gang injunction, regular gang injunction terms, as well as terms for banishment. It's the first time in our history where we're telling the gang members, the Colton City crook, Crips and Crooks, that you are banished from these apartment complexes. You are banished from finally from continuing to terrorize the citizens of this, not only these complexes, but the citizens in the areas that are located close to in this community. We are also seeking a regular injunction for them to be banished from the liquor store, San Bernardino, I believe it's called liquor store, right over here to the right of the complex, and the grocery store and the, the store areas in this area too. That if you are a crip, you will not be allowed to be present in this location or you will be arrested. If you are a crip and you don't live in this residence, you are banished from being here. Now why is that so important? This place has a nickname called the zoo. And I know that personally because before when I was a probation officer, we used to have to come into this location at times in the 80s, and we couldn't come in here without police backup. Because even back then, we had the presence of gang members coming from the, the uh, county of Los Angeles who were dealing drugs. And that's the, the other reason we're here. The economy for gang members, specifically the Crips in this area, is drug dealing. And that's what's been going on. Even though... Historically, we normally do an injunction where the gang members are and where they're living. There may be a couple still here. These gang members, even though they've been dispersed by the aggressive police work by the Colton Police Department, they continue to come back here and do their trade. They deal drugs here. When cops arrive, they run. They dump. They terrorize some citizens not to report. They've told citizens to even keep, even keep their doors open so they had a place to escape when officers would arrive. Secondly, and more, and as, or more importantly, is the children. You can see the children that are here that live in these complexes. This type of behavior is going on around children. I'm talking about drugs and money, transfer of drugs and money, gambling that's occurring here, all of the police contact that's occurring here. So it's incumbent upon us, us and the government, to make sure that not only the citizens are safe, that we give these children a chance to succeed without that type of environment. That's the other reason we're here. Twofold then. One is, it's a great tool for law enforcement, a great tool for the DA's office. We're going to make sure that we watch every movement, and we're going to implement this injunction with vigor and aggressiveness that the Colton Police Department has already done. Secondly, secondly is for the quality of life of the citizens of not only the city of, of Colton, but the, city, the county of San Bernardino. That is the biggest reason. The quality of life and bringing back this part of the community to our citizens. And that's what it's about. Not letting our citizens be terrorized, getting rid of this plague we call our local terrorists, who think they can come over and take over a community. I'm going to tell them that's not going to happen here. It's not going to happen in the city of Colton. It's not happening in the city of Rialto. It's not going to happen county.